Hey folks, Ian here with Ian's Random Reviews. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at the Speed Dome Keyboard Controller. Now, this controller is more built for CCTV cameras and security cameras, but it will also work with pan, tilt, zoom cameras as well, and, and that's more of the, uh, the functionality that I use it for. We're going to be taking a look at the overall controller, how it works, and of course, answer the big question, is it worth your money? Alright folks, so here is just a quick look at the overall controller. Now, as you can see here, um, it's very basic. You have your number pad and then all your different uh, input buttons. So up here you have your manual settings. So tele, wide, near, far, close, open. These adjust things like your zoom, your iris. Um, down here you have preset and call, scan and tour. So preset and call, of course, if you're operating a PTZ camera or even a uh, CCTV camera that has the option. You Basically what it does is, so I'm going to use myself for example if I'm at a live stream. If you're using a PTZ camera, you want to bounce between angles. Now, it's fine to freestyle it and kind of go to different angles manually with the uh, with the joystick. But at the same time, if you're really busy and there's certain angles that you want and you want to keep reusing them, sometimes it can be difficult to find exactly uh, those same angles again in the right spot. So you can actually set presets and call those camera positions so you can actually um, say there's two or three different presets you want, find your angles, set them in the presets, and then you basically just call that, that, that angle and uh, your camera will automatically go to it. So we'll try that in another clip. Uh, scan and tour, don't really, uh, it wasn't super self-explanatory about what that was. I don't know if it just pans the camera or not, but that's another option as well on this controller. Your shift menu, program, auxiliary, all on this uh, on this system. Now you've seen the screen has timed out here. That's pretty simple. Just click a button and it comes back on. Now one thing else uh, you've probably um, heard by now is that annoying beep. Now no matter if you're home or um, in a live streaming venue where you know it's not necessarily good to have something that loud or, or you know quiet is key you can turn it off. Now there's nothing in the instruction manual to tell you how to do that but I'm going to show you right now how to do it. Click 999 and hit auxiliary. Now if I move side to side there's no sound so that uh, that's great as well and then um, you know if you had your your call and then one um, you know you can do that quietly and uh, without little to no noise. Alright folks, so in this clip we're just going to show you quickly what the controller and the camera operationally, uh, you know, how they work together. Um, basically, if you move the camera right, you get right, left, you get left, down, up. Now let's talk about presets for a minute. So before when I talked about making a preset, so if you're at a venue and say you want to focus on say it's a music group you want to focus on the singer, the guitarist, and the drummer. Um, I've already preset three different settings here. Now they're fall scenes here on the table but uh, they basically will um, will take uh, the same positions as what I just mentioned. So let's just say the singer's on one, guitarist is on two, drummer's on three. So in order to do that I've already set them. Go to one call and that will take us to our singer two call, our guitarist, three our drummer. These are just kind of how the presets work so in the instance that you're live streaming and you don't want to continuously use the joystick to move back and forth um, as you can see you can also use the controller to zoom in and out so it basically remembers exactly where you're moving and um, that way it takes all the guesswork out of having to continuously zoom in, zoom out, move the uh, controller and, and do it in that fashion. So it's very good that way. It's simply the number and call and it just moves back to wherever you have it preset. So uh, that's, a, that's a great feature as well. I mean the, the overall controller even though it is a lower budget one does work well. Um, I did show you here that uh, with the uh, controller you can zoom in, zoom out, up, down, side to side, um, and all those things. Uh, you can also um, uh, zoom in with the buttons and zoom out with the buttons. Um, and then you can 
also adjust your your focus so um, if you want to get clear on your end subject you can do that far you can do that and then this would just adjust your iris so you know just different settings here that uh, this controller can do um, if you do have this camera completely set up to manual focus again you can use these buttons here to uh, to do that but uh, overall that's just a quick look at exactly um, how the controller operates with the camera and uh, gives you a quick look at how you can use it with presets as well all right folks so let's just talk about the controller a little bit some pros some cons um, you know, as far as some of the cons associated with this controller, of course, it is more specifically built for CCTV cameras and not necessarily pan tilt zoom cameras. It will do the job, but uh, you know, it is lower budget, lower quality. So, you know, unless you're looking for a higher quality, um, you know, actual PTZ optics uh, controller or, you know, one of the, the more expensive higher brands, you know, this might not be the solution for you. You know, it, it, it doesn't have all the functions and features that a standard pan tilt zoom camera controller might have. And, you know, that might be um, a little bit of a letdown for some people. But if you're looking for, you know, something, you know, you're, you're just starting out or you're just entering, um, entering into live streaming or whatever you're using this specifically for, um, you know, I think it's a great cost effective solution for that. I mean, you know, when you look at a professional uh, PTZ um, controller, you know, you're looking anywhere five, six, all the way up to $1,500. So, um, you know, for this, which I think was right around 80 bucks Canadian, I think maybe, uh, I can't remember the exact uh, cost. It, it's a great thing for just starting out. Now, um, you know, another con may be the wiring associated with it. So this system, the only way to connect it to a pan tilt zoom camera would be the, the positive and negative red wires um, that you have to splice the ends and, and, you know, do that type of connection. And sometimes they don't connect properly. Sometimes they fall out of the connectors and, and that can be a problem for people too. But, but otherwise, uh, you know, I'm fairly happy with the controller as far as, you know, some of the positives associated with it, you know, for a cheaper controller, it still has the, the, um, the pan in, pan out, or zoom in, zoom out on the, on the controller, um, joystick. You know, it has iris control. It has, um, you know, your manual button. So if you want to deal with focus or, or anything like that, and of course the presets. So if you want to set, um, you know, uh, presets on different angles and not always have to manually go back and forth to them. Um, that's a nice feature as well. And, and in a entry level controller that's not specifically built for pan tilt zoom cameras, I think uh, overall the functionality of it is there. It, it does work, and uh, you know, it, it does the job for for really what you're uh, for what you're looking to do with it. So overall, would I recommend this product? Absolutely. I mean, if if it's something that uh, you know regardless of what you're using it for if you're using it for pan tilt zoom if you're using it for you know your home security systems um, whatever that may be um, I think this might be uh, a good entry-level solution for you you know is this built for a big budget uh, you know big venue um, scenario I, I don't think so I, I you know would it work in like a church setting or something like that I, I think so I think you'd be you'd be fine with it but again uh, you know it, it's entry level it's cost effective and if it's something you need in a pinch or something where you're just starting off I do recommend this product so overall you know we've we've taken a look at it you've uh, you've got to see just just briefly how it works and uh, I think overall um, Again, if you're looking for an entry-level solution that uh, at the end of the day will save a few dollars, I think this might be uh, the best solution for you. So if you want to take a look at it, I will put an Amazon link in the description. And uh, remember, always use your own judgment when making any purchases and, uh, of course, figuring out if it's the right fit for you. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you in the next video.